give you a bit of a, a case study in the second example, which is about new content and experiences really delivered through new approaches, skill sets, and partnerships. So the next story I'm about to share with you is based on a core creative idea I think you're pretty familiar with anyway, built around the happiness of drinking Coca-Cola. Born from television, we needed to take an idea of happiness into unexpected places and spaces. Again, physical proximity of buyers and planners allowed us to help paint an idea across a broader canvas. And the success story, however, was also fueled by new types of talent that comprised the Coke team with an SMG. Now, first, there's more digital talent. And I really mean digital talent that's much more than data jockeys or code writers or technicians. Here, digital people are strategic thinkers who nurture a deep understanding of people's web-based behaviors and their content expectations. And because we've re-engineered ourselves, our SMG has re-engineered itself, I should say, as the human experience agency, they're seeking people who I guess I would describe as alchemists. Uh, and by alchemists, I really mean by a, a kind of a unique blend, blend of talent that may not really exist in abundance in our industry today. It's the kind of talent where content and contact blur in terms of into, a, into one single integration. It requires like a hybrid idea facilitator, a creative thinker, if you will, with media sensitivity, contact experts who can think experientially. These are media agnostic, strategic architects who leverage a rich palette of opportunities and partnerships to explore and create fresh and unexpected touch points. Now, in Italy, just such a team approached one of our new age, par with, approached one of our new age business partners, Microsoft, and brought the Happiness Factory to life. And the Happiness Factory being a fantasy world within Coke vending machines where workers work through an assembly line to produce bottles of Coca-Cola filled with nothing less than happiness. And with Microsoft, we were able to create new levels of this world. And if I can, I'll show you a brief film. Traditional advertising is no longer enough. Microsoft Advertising presents the special project created for Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has chosen the MSN and Windows Live network to let users discover the magic of the happiness factory. The online communication strategy has been articulated in two phases, film launch and now hiring. To take users to the Coca-Cola site and find the film created especially for the online audience, advertising and editorial drivers have been used, as if Happiness Factory were a cinematographic product. Making the most of the integration of the MSN channels, the film's special contents and characters have had the maximum visibility within MSN Homepage, MSN Entertainment, MSN Video. The 18th of February, the day of the great launch, the MSN homepage hosted the Happiness Factory event, generating record figures. 13.5 million impressions, more than 142,000 clicks, 11% click-through rate for the overlay. MSN Entertainment hosted the creation of a co-branded microsite where one can find all the details of the film and an exclusive photo gallery. On MSN Video, in the cinema section, in only two weeks over 13,500 users saw the trailer integrated as editorial content in streaming. Special editorial promos have been displayed on MSN and Windows Live for all the phases of the launch. But the Happiness Factory promotion does not finish here. From the 9th to the 31st of March, the second phase of the project, now hiring. Password, recruitment, to let the users experience the working life in the factory. In the co-branded microsite, through a funny personality test, 
each user discovers the role that is most congenial to them among the factory's four most important working profiles. Chino Inc., Kappa, Kissy Puppy and Mortarman. Many Windows Live gadgets with the film's look and feel to download at once. To customize the Windows Live Spaces pages, a magnificent background and a digital block notes to download, even to the Windows Vista desktop. And on Windows Live Messenger, the emoticon pack to communicate to the other HF workers through entertaining emoticon. And not just this, Coca-Cola's inimitable limited edition personal expression. Dynamic personal images to immediately identify one's task. What about the results? More than 600,000 gadgets and Windows Live Messenger personal expressions downloaded by the users. The MSN microsite generated 730,000 page views. The community has grown day by day. Every user is inserted in the virtual map that traces the growth of the community. More than 21,000 pushpins have appeared on the Microsoft Virtual Earth maps in only one week. The whole network has been invaded by personalized banners and editorial promos that have contributed to making this campaign an extraordinary success in terms of visibility, participation and engagement. Now, if I may, let me give you the third case study, and it's really a part of the Coca-Cola Company's first truly global IMC initiative. They've been working on the utilization of the FIFA World Cup for more than two years. It started with deep consumer research and an understanding of the meaning of the first global event on the continent of Africa, foot and as well as football passion around the world, and the role that Coca-Cola should play in this new communications landscape. With really keen insights, I think the Coca-Cola client in particular drove and developed a strong core idea, and that was to release your African rhythm, refresh yourself with a Coke, and it manifested it into a campaign idea of what's your celebration. Coke gathered eight agency partners with expertise in the key amplification areas, digital, shopper, PR, experiential, video, connection planning, music, and viral. And it asked them to ask them and ask us to work an entirely new way. This was called by Scott's words, mass collaboration, for the good of the brand and the idea. And while it wasn't easy for them or us, the result was clear. A clear content strategy tied to a very strong connection strategy that will manifest itself into a fully integrated marketing program into more than 160 countries. Today I wanted to share with you one of the more powerful ways I believe that we are, as a collection of agency partners with Coca-Cola, amplifying what's your celebration to create emotional experiences and to drive brand love. Now the FIFA World Cup trophy experience is the single largest and most impactful experiential marketing program in the Coca-Cola company's history. Coke is taking the FIFA trophy to 86 countries around the world, and in fact today finds itself in Seoul, South Korea. And it's this, it's this experience, tied with the passion of football and the using of the more iconic, iconic content to any football lover, is delivering results beyond expectations. And if I can, we'll show you one last video. No Brasil, o futebol acaba servindo como uma espécie de ferramenta. Bienvenidos a Buenos Aires, Argentina. Mi sueño es ser un campeón de fútbol. Yo me fui, yo la adoro como si ganan, es que me parme de avoir du bonheur, de la joie.
celebración favorita es la misma que realiza el jugador Marcelo el Matador Sá. Really impressive stuff, and thank you, Scott, for letting me be the one to deliver that.